Hey guys, it's me Kirko Kiyobe and this week we are going to start the dot ovals and dot ovals are generally easy to recognize as they won't have any of the edges and there will be only corners on the top. This is the first dot oval that we are going to learn. This is oval number 1. So this oval is really similar to this or line oval which we had learned previously. So the dot oval also has a 3x1 bar on your right as well as a left but it does not have this line on the top so the edges on the dot oval are towards the front and towards the back so you see this case 3x1 bar on your right and 3x1 bar on your left with a dot case on the top then you know this is oval number 1 so how do you solve this? you use this algorithm and for setting up this oval you can set it up like this so let's break this algorithm down a bit so you start by doing an R U2 R prime. So you're just taking this F12 out and putting it at the back slot in here. And then here you do a sledgehammer to orient two of the edges. And then you just do a U2 and then another sledgehammer to orient two more edges. So that will solve this oval for you. And an alternate algorithm which you can use from this angle with this bar in the front is this. So before I end this video, I just want to give a quick tip on how you can avoid dot cases. So when you're inserting your last F12 pair, instead of inserting this F12 pair normally like this, which will give you a dot case, you can just insert this F12 with a sledgehammer to orient two edges, which will give you a much better case than a dot case. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care guys and bye.